Okay, so we're gonna go through how the compensation plan works now as an executive, at least just the build portion of the compensation plan. Um, we're gonna talk about how to qualify for success trips, and then um, we're gonna talk about upgrade calls and driving lines and how to lead your teams, and then we'll do a Q&A. So we wanna keep this to about, you know, all of our content to about, you know, um, 15, 20 minutes, and then um, we'll do a Q&A for whatever questions you guys have. Um, but before we get started, I do want to introduce Laura to you guys, for those of you guys who don't know her. So I have just been so impressed with Laura. You know, I've kind of seen her from afar. We haven't chatted too much, but um, she was recently living outside of Dallas, Texas. And, you know, she is one of the few people that have, you know, really made the commitment to, uh, well, she it's by her example, you know, she made the commitment to fly up to, to Utah and to come to a team at university, remember that, months ago. And then from her example, she has now had, you know, loads of team members come to leadership conference in April. Um, she had a, a huge team of people at Success Summit. Um, she's, you know, always creating new executives, always one of the top performers in the group. Um, her husband has recently been working, you know, five days a week on the road traveling. And she somehow manages to keep eight kids alive and do that and also in the same time has built to Ruby executive and I have no doubt she'll be qualifying for this next success trip. So with that, we're going to give it over to, um, to Laura to go over um, compensation and success trips. Thanks, Nick. Um, and thanks for, I'm excited to, to have these calls. Um, I know that, that they're important. A lot of questions that have been asked will be answered on these calls. So we're going to jump right in just to the, portion of the compensation plan that changes for you guys a little bit once you've become executives. So as distributors, you are able to take advantage of the sharing bonus and those commissions, those wholesale retail commissions that you get when you sell. Um, but one of the great benefits of becoming an executive is this building bonus that we are now eligible to receive once you've become an executive. Um, so the building bonus is, um, earned for each um, 500 points and or a block is earned for each 500 points in your GSV, your group sales volume. Um, and with the velocity plan, um, now we're able to earn even more with this because the commissions increase as the building blocks that we've earned increase. So we'll go into that on the next screen. Um, but then also these commissions are paid weekly instead of monthly, how they used to be, which is a great benefit as well. Nick, you want to go ahead to the next screen? I don't know if I can click through on my end. So this screen kind of shows how your um, commissions increase with each building block earned. Um, so over on the left, it shows the number of blocks you've earned. Um, how much GSV you have um, to earn that, and then the percentage of commission that you earn um, off of those blocks. So the first two blocks, the first thousand points that you receive, you get two building blocks and 5% on each of those. So your total commission on those first two building blocks would be $50. But as your volume increases, that commission increases, um, and it increases rapidly. So the next building block is 10% and just so the next 500 is 10% and the following 500 is 15. Um, and up, up until 30, it's increased 5% um, every building block that you receive. Um, so this is a great source to say, so I need to make, so if I want to cover my mortgage every month. I need to have $2,000 in commission. And so I need to make sure that my total GSV is about $7,500. Um, and so you can then set your goal for the month based on the amount of income that you need or, or you know, your, your goal for that month um, and work backwards from there. Um, Nick, do you want to add anything there? Yeah, so as an executive, you now need to maintain a minimum of 2,000 points of group sales volume per month. Okay, so you should say, I mean, that's like the very bare minimum. Um, you know, you really want to shoot for at least 3,000 or more. And as we've heard from people like um, John Emmernon from Thailand, 
who's a nearly a $20 million earner under Brent Bryson, you know, he teaches his team to strive for 5,000 points. And it may, maybe it takes you, you know, a month, you know, a couple months to build up to that. But um, the nice thing is, and I'll, on this other slide, I mean, this goes all the way up to 40% on these blocks that you can earn. And so, I mean, if you look at it at 15,000 points of group sales volume, you're making $5,000. Newskin's paying out, you know, a huge, a huge commission. I'm really excited because previously how this worked, you know, for doing the same amount of volume that I did in May, um, if I do that same volume now, I'm going to make $2,000 more. And so, you know, what you want to do though, as you are, um, as you're setting your goals for the month, you don't just want to say, okay, my goal is 5,000 points and let's go, you know, I, I hope I get there, right? You need to have a plan. I would say if you want to do 5,000 points of volume, okay, how much of that is going to come from your personal sales, right? Like how much are you going to commit to selling in volume this month and break that down to a weekly basis, maybe even a daily basis of what you need to do and then say, okay, how many of this do I want to have from new LOIs on my team? Okay. You know, I want to have three new LOIs on my team. Okay, great. So how many people do I need to be sharing the opportunity with and doing upgrade calls with to be able to find three people that really commit and work hard to, uh, to LOI, right? And so you start with the end in mind, what your end goal is, but you want to break that down and be very specific as far as, uh, as how you're going to get there. Because people don't just like stumble upon 5,000 points in volume or they don't just like stumble upon going on a success trip, you got to break it down and, you know, and have a plan. So, um, any other thoughts, Laura, you want me to go into success trips? Um, I would just say, just to build on that, that it's, I think that naturally we want to say, you know, we talk a lot about like speaking out loud what we want. Um, but we can't just say it and then throw it to the wind and hope it happens. Just like you, you were saying, it's really important that we, um, break down those goals into um, daily and weekly goals and then break that down into a daily method of operations that helps us to reach those. So Yeah. And what I'd recommend starting off the month, I would get with all your key team members that are actually wanting to uh, do this on more than just like a casual social selling basis. You know, look at the people on your team and see who, you know, what are their goals, right? Who, uh, and, and that way that's going to help you to be able to set your goals as well. And so you get with them and say, okay, you know, how much money do you want to earn this month? Okay. Let me show you through the compensation plan, how you can do that. Or, okay. You want to get your LOI done. Okay, great. You know, that's a thousand points, um, you know, and break it down for them also how much they're going to personally sell plus also how much they want to come from recruiting. And, um, you know, a big part of you reaching your goals is going to make is making sure that your team members also have very clear and specific goals. Um, and, um, you'll find not everybody follows through with those goals. Right. And so, um, you know, sometimes somebody might not, they say they're going to do a thousand points. They might not. And so you want to just make sure you're always, um, still bringing on new people, um, as you support your growing team. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so most of you, probably all of you, have heard what the next success trip is that we're qualifying for right now. It's gonna be a cruise out of Puerto Rico. Um, and these are the ports. I can't fully see the screen. Let me try to move this, sorry. Um, so San Juan, Puerto Rico, St. Kitts, Aruba, St. Thomas, and Krakow. So it's going to be a great trip. I think New Skin rented out the cruise ship. Is that right, Nick? And uh, probably, yeah. I mean, it's a huge ship, but I would guess they've got a big part of it, if not the whole thing. So, so it's going to be amazing. If you haven't seen the success trip promotional video, you should watch that because it it shows a bit more about the ports and stuff. But um, now that you're an executive, like becoming an executive is the first step in being able to start earning success trip points. Um, and success trips are earned in two qualification periods. So one just ended January through June. That was the trip to Bermuda that was um, being earned. And then July 1 started the qualification period for this next trip. Let me just say, it's very doable. If you just became an executive, don't feel like, well, I just became an executive. I don't have a team under me. I'm not, I can't do it. It's very doable. And there's people on our team 
that have become executives partway through the qualification period and and uh, earn the trips. So um, just like we were talking about that goal setting. So in order to earn the trip, um, there's two ways that you can earn it. The first is um, just through success points um, or the points from your GSV, your sales volume of your team. Um, and you earn these points. Um, I think you can go to the next um, thing. Yes, for each pers each 500 that you have in personal GSV, um, you earn one success trip point. Um, go ahead to the next slide, I think, Nick. Um, sorry, that was too fast. But um, and for each of these points, that includes everybody in your your well your circle group that you get a building block for every 500 gsv you get a point there the second way is the leadership points you can go ahead there so as you become an executive you begin building a team and building new executives and really new skin wants us to build strong leadership teams which means once we become an executive we're building executives and helping those executives build their teams as well and so you receive points based on the leaders in your team so if you're an executive a gold executive you have one executive under you who's reaching 2000 in volume in a month you receive four points from that executive on top of the um, volume points that you're receiving. Um, and as you go down, you can see um, if you have a gold executive on your team, you receive eight points from them, a lapis, you receive 12. This is per month that you're receiving these. Um, and then to, if this is your first success trip, you need 100 success points to qualify for the trip. So I think that was the last slide, but, oh, sorry. If you have a leadership team, which means 30,000 in volume, you get an additional um, 10 points per month on that team. Um, go ahead, uh, I think that was it. So Nick, do you wanna add anything there? Okay. Yeah, just another thought is um, you don't just stumble upon a success trip. So what you wanna do is, you know, we have five months left in the qualification process, which means, and uh, if you're a new executive starting this month, you need to do 100 success points over the course of the next five months. And so what that looks like is basically doing about um, 20 success points per month, which, you know, 20, if you kind of break that down, one success point um, is basically 500 points in volume. It's doing about 10,000 points of group sales volume between you and your team. Um, on average over the course of the next five months. And so, you know, really how you qualify for these trips, it's all about really everything Newskin wants you to do is um, become an executive, create executives and basically build strong teams of executives. And so you're gonna qualify faster by helping other people become executives and also by helping your new executives develop executives in their team as well right and so that's why you see people that have you know rubies emeralds diamonds blue diamonds on their first generation qualify so fast and so it's about not just signing somebody up to get them to post it's about you know it's about developing leaders and to do that that goes into um you know upgrade calls so i would take a screenshot of this um, just to have for your records but an upgrade call this is when you have people coming into your team you know, we have, I have some people on my team that are qualifying executives or they're new and they're like, hey, oh my gosh, I've got, you know, 10, 15, 20 people that have joined my team. Well, the question is, do you have someone that just signed up and got a free account or do you have somebody that's a business partner? And so what you want to do is, you know, anybody that comes into your team or that you see that's doing any kind of volume in your downline, you want to get in touch with them. And especially, you know, the team members you currently have, they may not have the awareness that they should be doing this. And so what you want to do is, you know, with your team members, anytime they bring somebody on, you want to make sure you guys are doing an upgrade call with their new recruits. And so really the purpose of this is to find out what the person's goals are. You know, start with why, start with what are their dreams, what are their goals, what would they like to accomplish? Um, and then what you want to be able to do is, you know, you want to start to build your understanding and your ability to explain the compensation plan. And so if they say, you know, I really want to make $1,000 per month, you want to be able to walk them through the compensation plan and show them 
you know, what it takes and what it looks like to make $1,000 per month. And, you know, on these upgrade calls, what I do is I have a very heavy focus on why they should become an executive and making sure they understand how they can qualify as an executive. So one way I do that is, you know, I share the, the differences between distributor and executive. So, and a personal story of mine that you could share with people as well is that, you know, last April I was a distributor and became an executive. In the month of May, as a new executive, if I had still been a distributor, I would have earned 10 times less money. You know, last May I was able to earn as a, as a new executive a little over $3,000, whereas if I had still been a distributor, I would have made maybe, you know, two to $300. And so the reason why is because as an executive, we get paid much higher commissions, and so you can get compensated at a much higher level for the time and energy and effort you're putting into the business. And so I always tell people the money starts at executive, the lifestyle starts at executive, that's also where you start qualifying for success trips. And so I really paint that vision of why they should be motivated to move forward to become an executive. And then what you want to do is make sure they understand the process. And before you finish the call, you want to establish a very specific goal of by when they're going to become an executive and make sure that they have a specific daily plan. It's not just like, okay, great. You want to be an executive by, by October. All right, let's do it. You know, let's go talk to some people. Let's get some posts going. It's um, a little bit more involved than that. You know, you want to make sure they have a very specific daily method of operation, which at a minimum, what we recommend is 30 minutes personal development talk to three new people per day about the business or products, follow up with three new people per day, um, you know, do three posts per day, that's recommendation, and also using the products. And so what you wanna do, when someone first goes out there to start talking to people about the business, they really don't, you know, they, they don't really have much confidence yet. It's like, you know, they're excited, but maybe they don't know what to say, how to say it, and if they get a really hard rejection, they might say, wow, like that might take them out of the business, right? And so you want to make sure that you're there for them and supporting them and walking them through the, you know, those first several people that they're reaching out to. The another thing is this business, it's all about relationships, you know? And so, um, you know, what you want to do is, let's just say if you're Allison, right? Allison, you want to introduce your, you know, your new people to me, but also to, to John and to Blake and to our spouses and to, you know, more of our upline. And whether that's a phone call, a Facebook message, or bringing them to an event, that's going to be really important. And so the next thing is, as far as driving lines goes, is you want to look at anybody who's joined your business really, you know, over the course of the last month, um, or anybody really who's in your team that's maybe not active, or that's you know doing any volume at all, and you want to get those people, you know, you want to make sure those people know what they have in their hands with this opportunity. And so, um, because you may have people that sign up in your team, but their sponsor maybe didn't do a very good job of explaining what the opportunity is, and you know they may be a great, you know, they may become a great leader in your team. They just don't have the awareness of what this actually is. And so you want to make sure that you're kind of working through your team to find out what great people are popping up um, that you could speak with. And so the goal is um, to really help them understand the bigger picture. And you'd really ideally like to upgrade their vision within the first 48 hours of having somebody signed up. And so, you know, we've had some phenomenal business presentations lately by Blake and by Brent. Um, we have an online business presentation every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. So you should make that you know Wednesday night business presentation very a very important part of what you're doing and both you and your team should be inviting um, all throughout the week and promoting that Wednesday night eight o'clock presentation and you know you can measure the you know how strong your business is and how how much it's growing based off of how many people you have um, on those presentations in your team both prospects and uh, and people in your downline. And so really the goal of all this is just to kind of sift and sort through the people coming into your team um, to find out who's really self-motivated, who wants to go for it uh, with the end goal of creating executives. And so, you know, one thought here that I wanted to share is that once you become an executive, it's no longer just kind of sitting back and, and wanting and waiting for your team to do the work, right? They say the speed of the leader determines the speed of the pack. And so what you need to do as you're supporting your team, you know, I learned from Brent Bryson that I asked him, hey, you know, our, our team is growing, it's expanding. How do I, um, how do I, um, how do I manage like my time of supporting my team, but also, 
um, you know, continuing to recruit. And he said, well, schedule an appointment with yourself every day, whether it's a one hour power hour where you're just 100% focused. You know, Blake's done some great training on that. We're just 100% focused on contacting new people, right? Recruiting new people for your front line um, that you're going to have join your business or whether, you know, maybe it's a one or a two hour block where you're not boosting posts, you're not answering messages. It's almost like you're disconnected from everything else except, um, you know, you're hundred, you're hundred percent focused on bringing in new, new people, right? Customers and distributors. And so you have to do that. Otherwise it's very easy to get busy and what I mean by that is by boosting posts and answering questions and watching training videos. But the thing that's going to keep your business growing is uh, continuing to daily prospect and recruit. And so, you know, all, because also your team is going to do what they see you do or less. And so as you need to do what you wish your team would do. And that's, uh, you know, including going to events, um, continuing to recruit new people, selling and posting, um, and so, you know, if you start to just manage your team and say, hey, guys, let's go, let's get to work, you can do this. But if your team doesn't see you actively taking action and working, you know, then they're, uh, you're going to see that slow down as well. You know, you're going to see your team follow your example. And so the best thing for you to do if you want to see your business continue to grow is, is to, you know, be the top producer in your team, right? Show your team what to do um, by doing it, not just by telling them how to do it. And so really your next big goal, because sometimes people come in, and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm an executive, like I made it, right? Like I've arrived. And they just kind of like let, like they lose focus. They, you know, they, uh, they kind of maybe sometimes wonder, okay, what's next? What do I do now? Well, your next big goal is just as you are so focused on becoming an executive, your next goal is to become a Ruby executive and to qualify for your first success trip. So I would write down a goal by when you're going to be a Ruby executive and by when you're going to get on a success trip, and I'd get with your upline um, to really talk about a plan for how to get there and how they can support you and work with you to get there. And so, um, Laura, do you have any comments on these topics that I've shared that you'd like to share? Oh, thank you. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna now go into the Q&A. And so um, Zoom, I'm, I'm on like the free version of Zoom. It's gonna cut us off in about five minutes. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just stop the recording.